China has just unveiled audacious plans to land astronauts on the moon by 2030, a mission poised to revolutionize space exploration. This isn't a repeat of past moon landings. China aims to master crewed Earth-Moon travel, establish short-term lunar bases, and pioneer human-robot collaboration on the lunar surface. With prototypes already in testing, these ambitions are rapidly becoming reality. How does China plan to overcome the immense challenges ahead? And what could this mean for the future of humanity in space? Join us as we delve into the core of China's groundbreaking lunar mission. China's lunar mission is a multifaceted endeavor aimed at pushing the boundaries of space exploration, scientific research, and technological innovation. At its core, the mission seeks to achieve three critical objectives. Mastering manned Earth-Moon travel, enabling short-term stays on the lunar surface, and fostering human-robot collaborative exploration. Firstly, Mastering manned Earth-Moon travel is a monumental task that involves developing spacecraft capable of safely transporting astronauts across the approximately 384,400 kilometers separating Earth and the Moon. This requires overcoming challenges like prolonged exposure to cosmic radiation, life support in deep space, and reliable communication over vast distances. By achieving this, China not only advances its technological prowess, but also opens the door for future deep space missions, including potential journeys to Mars. Secondly, the mission aims to establish short-term lunar habitation. This involves creating sustainable living conditions on the Moon's surface, even if only for a few days. Astronauts will need habitats that can protect them from extreme temperatures, micrometeorite impacts, and harmful solar radiation. Successfully doing so would be a significant step toward long-term colonization and could provide invaluable data on how humans can live and work on other celestial bodies. Thirdly, the focus on human-robot collaborative exploration is particularly innovative. By combining the adaptability and decision-making capabilities of humans with the precision and endurance of robots, the mission can maximize efficiency in tasks like sample collection, terrain mapping, and infrastructure assembly. Robots can perform preliminary exploration and handle hazardous tasks, while astronauts can make real-time decisions based on their observations, enhancing the mission's overall effectiveness. Furthermore, the mission has significant scientific implications. By conducting experiments in lunar geology, astronomy, and possibly even biology, China aims to deepen our understanding of the Moon and its potential resources. The prospect of extracting lunar resources like helium-3 for energy production or water ice for life support and fuel is not just science fiction but a tangible goal that could have profound impacts on Earth's energy solutions. Turning this ambitious lunar mission into reality requires a suite of advanced technologies and engineering feats. Central to the mission are three key components, the Long March 10th Heavy Lift Rocket, the Mengzhou Manned Spacecraft, and the Lanyu Lunar Lander, each representing a significant advancement in space technology. The Long March 10th rocket is the powerhouse designed to propel heavy payloads beyond low Earth orbit and into lunar trajectories. This rocket is a significant upgrade from its predecessors, featuring enhanced thrust capabilities and advanced propulsion systems. Its development involves overcoming challenges related to fuel efficiency, structural integrity under extreme forces, and precise guidance systems to ensure accurate insertion into lunar orbit. Next is the Mengzhou manned spacecraft, which serves as the astronaut's home during the journey to lunar orbit and back. Unlike previous spacecraft, Mengzhou is designed for deep space missions, equipped with advanced life support systems, radiation shielding, and autonomous navigation capabilities. The spacecraft must sustain human life for extended periods while ensuring safety in the harsh environment of space, including protection from solar flares and cosmic rays. The Lenyu Lunar Lander is engineered to transport astronauts from lunar orbit to the Moon's surface and back. This lander must execute precise soft landings on uneven terrain, requiring sophisticated guidance, navigation, and control systems. It also serves as the launch pad for the astronauts' return to lunar orbit, necessitating reliable ascent engines and docking mechanisms compatible with the Mengzhou spacecraft. Additionally, specialized equipment like the lunar rover and advanced spacesuits are in development to support surface operations. 
the lunar rover is designed for extended exploration, capable of traversing the moon's rugged terrain and harsh conditions. It will carry scientific instruments for data collection and can be operated both autonomously and by astronauts. The spacesuits are being tailored to withstand the moon's extreme temperatures and abrasive dust, while providing the mobility needed for tasks like sample collection and equipment assembly. China has made significant strides in turning its lunar ambitions into actionable reality, marked by a series of milestones that demonstrate both progress and commitment. Prototypes of the long March 10th rocket, Menzhou spacecraft, and Lanyu lander have moved from design phases into production and rigorous ground testing, signaling a transition from theoretical planning to tangible implementation. The Long March 10th rocket has undergone engine tests and structural evaluations to ensure it meets the demanding requirements of a lunar mission. These tests are crucial for validating the rocket's ability to carry heavy payloads and perform the precise maneuvers needed for lunar insertion. The development team is focusing on optimizing fuel efficiency and reliability, key factors for mission success. The Mengzhou spacecraft has completed several uncrewed test flights, allowing engineers to assess life support systems, radiation shielding, and re-entry capabilities. These tests are essential for ensuring astronaut safety during the extended journey to the moon and back. Data collected from these flights inform necessary adjustments and improvements, bringing the spacecraft closer to being mission ready. Similarly, the Lanyu Lunar Lander has undergone extensive simulations and hardware testing. Engineers are refining its landing algorithms, propulsion systems, and ascent mechanisms. The lander's ability to perform a soft landing and subsequent ascent is critical, as any malfunction could jeopardize the astronauts' return to lunar orbit and, ultimately, to Earth. Ground facilities, including the Wenchang spacecraft launch site, have been upgraded to support the mission's complex logistical needs. New infrastructure supports the assembly and testing of large spacecraft components, while advanced tracking and communication systems are being installed to maintain contact with the crew throughout the mission. Astronaut training programs have also intensified. Selected astronauts are undergoing rigorous preparation, including simulations of lunar surface operations, navigation, and emergency procedures. They are being trained to work seamlessly with robotic systems, a crucial aspect of the mission's human-robot collaboration goal. Furthermore, China is conducting pre-crewed flight tests to validate all mission components in an integrated environment. These tests aim to identify and rectify any system incompatibilities or unforeseen issues, ensuring that when astronauts are on board, every element functions flawlessly. In this video, we have learned about China's ambitious plan to land astronauts on the moon by 2030. We've explored the mission's multifaceted objectives, the cutting-edge technology being developed, and the significant progress already made. This mission represents a monumental step forward in space exploration, not just for China but for humanity as a whole. It could pave the way for long-term lunar habitation, resource utilization, and even deeper space missions in the future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.